It's so good. I have never made these and not sold out of this flavor. Hi, this is Michelle with Michelle's Macarons, and today we're gonna to be making one of my all-time favorite macarons, apple crisp. We're going to make the crisp topping, we're gonna to make a homemade caramel, we are going to make the apple filling. We're gonna cook it on the stove. We're gonna put that into a buttercream, put a little bit of the apples in the center, drizzle it all with the caramel that we've made, the homemade caramel, and then top it with some crispy oat crisp. And we do oat so it stays gluten-free. This is an all gluten-free recipe. So we're gonna start with the caramel because this is gonna to have to cool before we drizzle it on the top. We've got one stick, which is four ounces of unsalted butter. Put it on low. We're gonna put in the granulated sugar, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of heavy cream, a fourth a cup and an eighth a cup of corn syrup, a half a teaspoon of salt. And use table salt for this. Now we are going to bring this to a boil and then since we're just going to be drizzling it, we're not going to cook it as much as we normally would. Like if you were going to make soft candies, like caramel that you could pick up and eat, you would cook it a little longer. But for this, we're just going to do it to where it's a drizzle consistency. See how it's starting to come together? I had it on low, but now it's on medium, so it's going to come together a little better. Okay, so when this is done, we're going to put it into a separate jar so it doesn't keep cooking. But if you do overcook it, if you do overcook the caramel, you can put it back on here, add a little bit of heavy cream, then cook it again until it all comes together and probably until it's a simmer. Then you can do the, the test I'm going to show you. You can do it again if you overcook it. Here we go, starting to bubble. Now this is where you want to keep an eye on it because it's going to start to thicken up. Now, I don't have a candy thermometer, but I'm gonna see if this works. Probably getting pretty close. I'm gonna do a test to show you what it'll look like when it's not ready. The way you test this is you're gonna put it into, you're gonna get a cup of, I do a cup of cold water because these are gonna be in the fridge. These are refrigerated, but I'm going to get a cup of cold water I'm gonna take a little spoonful of this, put it into the water, and it's going to ball up. And we want it to be a real soft, malleable ball of caramel instead of like a harder candy. So let's see what it looks like in the water. Yep, <laughs> duh. So you see, see what I mean? I'm, I'm sorry, this is not good sanitary, but you see how it's just like not, it's just like mixing in. When it's ready, it will all stick together. It's about at 220. Pour this in. See how it's coating the spoon? And how it's taking a while to drip off? That's good. Oh, I need to take this off. Now let's see what happens when I scoop some of this out. Ooh, perfect. That's a good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Take it off the heat. Actually pour it in here. So then add the vanilla. You could add it when it was on the pan and when it was off, but just add it now. So we've got the caramel. We're going to set that aside and let it cool. I wouldn't put it in the fridge just yet. I would kind of let it cool at room temperature and I would stir it. Okay, now we're going to make the, <laughs> the apple mixture. You're going to peel and slice and kind of, I guess these are cubes, little cubes of apples. I do two Fuji apples and three Granny Smith. The smaller ones, they're like this big. We're gonna put one tablespoon of salted butter. Put on low, medium. We're gonna, now look, let's do low. Melt that. Add the apples after the butter's melted. And Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Oh, God, this smells so good already. You're gonna cook this down until these are soft, really soft, because we're gonna we're gonna put them into a buttercream, and we're gonna put them in the middle. So just let that cook. Okay, so that's gonna cook down. <laughs> it smells like fall. So I'm going to put this on one of my burners back here, and and let it sit like this on low until it's done and then we're gonna make the oats the crisp topping 
I forgot to mention, put a lid on the apples to want them to cook down in their own juices. First we toast the oats, because I do not want raw oats in the crisp. So we toast them and get that kind of nutty flavor from the oats. We toast them in, we toast them in butter, of course. It's a half a cup of oats with a tablespoon of salted butter. If you're gonna do this and you're gonna use oats, you might as well do gluten-free oats. So many more people can eat them then. You wanna use old-fashioned rolled oats. One tablespoon of salted butter, half a cup of oats. Now this you really have to keep an eye on because you, do you don't want these to burn. So I would stir these constantly. You, you just wanna lightly toast it because we are gonna cook them in the crisp. This just adds a little extra. Keep toasting these until they kind of dry out a bit. We're trying to make them a little crispy so they're not chewy. Okay, this is almost done. Smells toasted. They, it, it pretty much looks the same. You're gonna notice it smells better and it's kind of drier. You see how there's like no butter on the bottom? Just kind of soak that up. Yeah. Yeah, it just smells better. It smells toasted, okay? So that's done. I'm gonna put that in a bowl. Okay, make sure you're stirring your caramel every once in a while and checking on your apples, stirring those. See how they're starting to get a little more moisture here? Yeah, there we go, that's what we want. Now we're going to make the crisp. So now we're gonna add to the pan on medium low heat, low medium heat, two tablespoons of salted butter, a pinch of salt. When I say a pinch of salt, I literally just mean like pinch of salt. It's a little less, a little more, it doesn't really matter. Pinch of salt, cause we're already using salted butter and a shake of cinnamon. We're gonna add that later. Fourth a cup of packed brown sugar, light brown sugar. Stir that. You wanna do about medium, medium low. And you're gonna kind of melt this together. It smells very good. Again, stir this together. The butter and the brown sugar will not combine. It'll stay kind of oily like this, which is fine because we're gonna add the oats and it's gonna soak up some of that. So that's good. You kind of just want it to get brown, get the brown sugar just a little, like melted a little bit. And you're gonna add the oats and stir those together. So we're gonna cook this together and just kind of get it to dry out a little bit. So it's like a crisp topping and it's got a bit of a crunch to it and it's not chewy because you want it to be crispy. So basically we're just cooking the moisture out. We're gonna let that go. I'm going to show you the apples now. So let's see what those, yeah, they're getting kind of mushy, which is good. Mushy, put those back over here. Now these will not get totally crispy when they're still hot. This is something that you're gonna do and kind of just have to trust that they'll crisp up a bit later. I think we forgot the cinnamon. Every day is a struggle. Every day is a trial. Oh, just a shake of cinnamon. And I, I, I literally mean just a shake, so watch. Oh, <laughs> that was too much. Every day is a struggle. That's good, just, just a little bit, just shake. If there's a little more, that's fine. If there's a little less, that's fine. You wanna keep an eye on this because you don't want it to get too crunchy because it'll have like a burnt flavor because you've got the sugar in there. Okay, this should be about done. I know you really can't tell, but basically it's gonna kind of, the brown sugar is gonna clump up a little bit and stick to the oats. Turn this off, let this cool. And we're gonna start making the buttercream, even though we really can't without the apple mixture, but we can add all the other ingredients. We're gonna put one and a half sticks of unsalted butter in here with the paddle attachment and a cup and a half of powdered sugar, two pinches of salt, literally just whatever you can grab, one, two. It's not that big of a deal. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of vanilla, two tablespoons of heavy cream. Okay, turn it on low at first. Then once the sugars combine, turn it up to like eight or a high, medium high. Okay, scrape the edges down. Turn it back on high. This is what it'll look like when it's ready to go. 
so I took the apples off the stove. This is what they're gonna kind of look like when they're cooked. You wanna even mash it up a little bit more with the fork. Now, three fourths cup of that, once it's cooled, will go into this buttercream and the rest we're gonna put in the middle. That's where we're adding three fourths cup of that. Make sure you wait until it's cooled before you add that or it'll melt your buttercream. Turn it on high. All the apples are pretty much pushed in there, but you still have some apple pieces, which is good. Now we're gonna put that into a bag to pipe it. Now let's look at this crisp. It's probably cooled enough. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. So you want it to be like this, like broken and hard and can you hear that? Yep, perfect. So now we're gonna assemble. We've got our crisp, we've got our apple for the inside, we've got our buttercream for the surrounding, we've got a random apple because it looks cute, and then I think I'm going to pipe this. Let me see if it'll drizzle at all. No, I don't even have to check. That's not gonna drizzle. So if yours is this consistency, oh, that's good. You could either heat it up a little bit, add a little bit of cream, then let it cool again. I don't wanna do that because this will be fine. Or you can pipe it, which probably is easier, but definitely don't think you have to pipe it. If you've got the right consistency and you had your candy thermometer, you probably won't have to pipe it. Now I'm gonna get the shells out. I'm just using white shells. Any white shell will work. I'll link the recipe that I used. So let's assemble one. We're going to pipe this around the outer edge. Then we're gonna put a little spoonful of the apple stuff in the middle. Then you're gonna put the top on. Okay, now the caramel drizzle. And now we are going to drizzle it. Then you're gonna sprinkle some of this on top. I put a lot, because why not? You might need to get in there and press it down. Are you kidding me? Look how good these look. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it to be notified whenever I come out with a new video. Okay, love you. Bye.